My sobriety date's 4-28-06. Um, I've been in recovery for about two years. Um, you know, for me, it was just like, I started using somewhere around the third grade, popping pills, drinking beer. Um, and by the time I was 13, I was smoking crystal meth. And, you know, went crazy, went to jail, all that, got in recovery. Um, but it was a cool thing, because it was like, because I got in Archway Academy, which is where I go to school, and it, it slowed me down. It kept me alive for the next nine months that I kept getting high, because um, I, I, I should have been in prison, because um, I've overdosed before, you know, I've shot up, I've done a lot of stupid things, um, you know? And for me, it was like the, th the threat of going to prison for a year uh, that got me sober, a bunch of other stuff. I mean, I could talk for hours about that, but, the reason I came for Texas Teens, man, is because it's like, this, this is stuff that saved my life. You know, I remember after I'd gone out for a little bit and used and came back into the program, I'd like gone down to Corpus when my brother got out of jail, robbed a dude in this hotel room, $1,400, and was like doing PCP and a bunch of other stuff. But I came back in and, um, I looked at the guy who was my sponsor today, and I was talking to him, and I told him what happened, and he looked me dead in the eye, and he said, Cameron, you keep doing this, man. You're not gonna reach 18. And I, I, was, I think I was 15 at the time, and you know, that hit me pretty hard. Um, and it's like, programs, like I got sober in Cornerstone, which is an alternative peer group in Houston, Texas, which is where I'm from, uh, and Archway Academy, which is a sober school in Houston, Texas, which is also where I'm from. <laughs> but no, um, it's like those, those are the things that kept me alive. They got me sober. You know, today I have 10 months sober. I, I never thought that would happen. I never thought I'd be in DC. I never thought I'd be trying to help other people. And it amazes me because I had no plans on ever graduating high school. I knew I wasn't going to college. I figured I was gonna spend some time in jail and I was okay with that. Um, that I just thought that's what life had it for me. And you know, it was like my main thing was crystal meth and I was watching a show last night where it said 6% of people who do crystal meth don't get, or only 6% only of people get sober who've done crystal meth. Um, you know, and I, I want that percentage to be higher. You know, and it's not just that, man. You know, it's for everyone. Everyone should have a chance. And it's like the money needs to be raised because it's like so many people are in denial about this. I mean, that's a big thing. It was like my parents, you know, they didn't, until they started like stepping up to the plate and being forceful, it was like, I didn't get sober because it was like, as soon, as soon as they found out, they were like, you're, you're going to prison. You know, it was like, it was like, you're either going to prison or treatment or you're out of the house. And it was like when they stepped up to the plate and they put the treatment for me, you know, they get, put me in an outpatient program. It was like, that was, that's what helped. And it's like the awareness needs to be brought up because there's so many parents in denial. There's parents in denial with kids in recovery. You know what I mean? And it's just messed up like that. And it's like this awareness, it's just crazy. And it amazes me how some people can just block this out. Some of the things that happen.